Hello guys, uh, welcome to my tutorial. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to convert your PSP ISO into a PSP eBoot so that you can play them on your PSP. Okay, play as one emulation on the PSP. But uh, please do read the description on my left that you need a custom firmware to do this. Okay, in order to play PSP, uh, you know, sorry, in order to play PS1 game, you do need to have a custom firmware. So, uh, to get the ball start rolling. To get the ball rolling, uh, we will need to open your internet browser. So you just uh, open your internet browser and browse to uh, emailparadise.org. Okay, the link is uh, given on the right in my description page. Okay, so you just uh, click on uh, ROMs. Okay, okay. So in order to download your PlayStation ISO, just click on ROMs. Okay, so you'll see a list of uh, play a list of ROMs, uh, different categories. So you just need to PlayStation ISO. Just need to click the PlayStation ISO. So click on that. So uh, you see the ISO available for downloads. Okay, it's got a uh, lots of games. Okay, some neat games: Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. My favorite, and of course, uh, Final Fantasy IX, which I'll be using as an example today. So you just uh, click Final Fantasy IX. So click on it. Okay, uh, and click on Proceed to download Final Fantasy IX. This one. So I just click on that one. So yeah, total of uh, four this. So you need to download all for this. I'm just uh, using an example, this one, okay, because I've only downloaded this one. So you'll be taken to this page, okay, so click on the link above to see the sponsor below. So you just uh, click on the link above. And, okay, just click on the link above, to, okay, so uh, do you do not need to click click here to vote, okay, you do not need to click this. Just uh, click on the, this link, okay, wait for the page to load, and uh, the last step uh, will be to wait for the activation link to appear. So you just wait. Okay, so that is it. Okay, so you just click OK. <coughs> See, it's uh, divided into 10 parts. Oh, okay, so it's split into 10 parts. So you need to download all 10 parts of it. Okay, so uh, file 1 to file 9 is about 45 megabytes. Only file 10 is about 15 megabytes. Okay, the, the last one is quite small. So uh, you need to download all, all of it, but you only need to extract only need to extract one of it only. So I'll be using uh, this file 1. Okay, as an example. So I have all 10 parts downloaded. So I just click uh, file 1. I just wait for it to load so okay here is it okay you do not need to click one for two just press it down download Final Fantasy IX Final this one okay so you just uh, save it uh, sorry there. there there is it I have all 10 bucks downloaded so you just uh, save it somewhere where it, uh, you can find it easily easily accessible so you just click cancel okay so now you go down this page okay the second thing you want to do okay after downloading all the ISO is to go to the second link in my description okay so you will be arrived on this page okay this is the page where you need to download the pop station GUI arrange program to convert your PSP I'm uh, sorry to convert your PSX ISO into a PSP eBoot okay so uh, this uh, simple pop station GUI you can customize the eBoot also and preview some eBoots uh, about the customization of the eBoot I'll be showing the, that later in the part okay so you just uh, click download version 3.00 just click okay so just uh, save it somewhere okay so uh, I have saved it on my documents okay uh, in the my applications anime so uh, okay so that is it okay so we just uh so we just extract okay so i have a 
Let's drag it out. Okay, so if I drag it out, you will see something like this. Okay, so I need it pops. Sorry. Okay, is uh here is it? Okay, so you just open this. Okay, this is the pop station GUI. Okay, this is where you can customize your eboot. Uh, browse. Okay, you need to after that. Uh, sorry, I'm missing one step. After you convert it your uh, after you downloaded your Final Fantasy Nine or ten parts of it, you need to go to my documents and then go to download. Uh, this is my folder. Okay, and you can name it whatever you like. Okay, so uh, you just need to see there are ten parts here. So don't be confused, you just need to only open one part of it. Okay, so and then just drag it out to the desktop uh, so they can, yeah, you can find it easily. Okay, so that is it. My Final Fantasy 9, this one. Okay, so uh, the next step would be to browse, okay, to put the Final Fantasy 9, this one, ISO, sorry, dot bin. The format is dot bin. In it. Okay, so that is it. So you choose um, compression. Okay, you'll be around 400 megabytes of the compression. So you just uh, choose nine best compression here. Okay, so about the yin save ID and game ID, you do need to have the same same game ID in order to continue these two, these three, and these four. So uh, you just change the game save and game ID. Okay, in order to continue. If not, uh, you will not you will not be able to use your save file. So uh, now I'll be teaching you how to customize the eboot. Okay, so you just uh, go over to the last website. Okay, the PS One eboots. Okay, and then scroll down, scroll down. Okay, see Final Fantasy Nine, four CD. So that is the total of four sets now. Okay, so mine. So you just uh, click on Final Fantasy Nine, four CD. Let's click on it. Okay, so I just save it. See, I have uh, saved it in my pictures here. See, Final Fantasy Nine eboot. Okay, so there's a. Uh, this is the different file names. Uh, to in order to customize your eboot so uh, we're just a uh, very simple example okay okay sorry so uh, there's a total of four sets here okay so it's A for set 1 B for set 2 and for any set so I'll just uh, use A for set 1 Okay, so you see the icon, the PNG. Okay, so uh, the first thing you want to do is to customize the eboot. Sorry, customize the eboot. Okay, so you just uh, browse to the location where you store your eboot like mine. I store it in uh, my picture. Okay, so uh, so I choose a uh, set one. Okay, place it accordingly to the file name. Let's like say a uh, icon PNG. So you just uh, press set one. Okay, so you just choose choose any okay just put it here see you go into here so uh, next one you choose is to choose is the PICO dot PNG so you just uh, browse something okay this is it okay so I choose a uh, set one three four five so just uh, choose any set okay then uh,